HSLS steel, high strength, low alloy steel. Okay, HSLS steel means is called high strength, low alloy steel. Is the abbreviation is HSLA. Is HSLA is a micro alloyed steel. Okay, is called for micro alloyed steel. Is the alloying elements of the steel have aluminium, titanium, vanadium, and niobium. Is the alloying elements is the carbon content in the range of 0.07 to 0.13 percentage is carbon content is the low carbon content okay this carbon content presence is very low content it in the steel seals also called for construction steel or structural steel material okay this is another name is construction steel or structural steel this actually is called for construction steel or structural steels is hsla steel is mainly used for weight reduction purpose okay so it's a weight reduction through increased strength okay so this purpose is used mainly for weight reduction this strength is twice okay the strength of the hsla steel is twice the plain carbon steel so the HSLA steel strength is two times larger than the plain carbon steel material. Okay, is the then only the called for high strength low alloy steel. This this HSLA steel have ductility is also large carbon content is very less. Okay, up to uh, zero point maximum carbon content zero point one three. So HSLA has high ductility malleability. Toughness and weldability enhanced by the low carbon content. So, it is high strength to weight ratio is achieved by using this material. High strength to weight ratio carbon makes harder and alloy elements makes it is in this carbon makes harder, harder and alloy elements makes solid strengthening solution in HSLA steel. The martensitic or bionitic transformation okay, is create the complex carbides. Okay, this complex carbides leads to the small grain size, okay, the small size and high hardness for HSLA steel. Okay. Up to suppose if adding 0.2 percentage of copper, okay that improve the corrosion resistance to the, the steel this is fine aziglos ferrite or ferrite pellet structure okay the steel have fine aziglos ferrite or ferrite pellet structure this characteristics of hsla steel is high yield strength improve the weldability of the material is very light okay 20 to 40 percent of weight saving without compromising the strength of the material it has high ductility formability machinable and corrosion resistance properties is is fine grain structure by adding alloying elements okay it is the fine grain structure by adding alloying elements it is a very light structure okay so it is 20 to 40 percent weight saving without compromising the strength. So that's why we use the main towers. Okay, we use for the all This material use for So you know, same strength is Okay, weight reduce almost. So okay, that is called high strength low alloy steel. So application of this material this is the examples of various grade of HSLA steel. So, ASTM A 572. ASTM A656, 50, 60, 65, 600 LA, 700 LA is the grades of HSLA steel. It is mainly used application of steel is for structural application purpose. Okay, says bridges, towers, large scale buildings and columns. Okay, so this is another use for towers, bridges, large scale strength, adhima ruko, weight kammi Okay, so the plain carbon steel use for bolo use for number so weight adhigama irukkanaala so material weight adhigunaal nam use pannum idu hsla steel use pannum bolu kammi 20 to 40% of material weight korachi adhe same strength namba panna mudiyum so twice the strength of carbon steel material la irukum so adhanaladhu hsla steel prefer pandranga so main for pressure vessel 
எக்யூப்மெண்ட்ஸ் ட்ரெயின்ஸு ஆட்டோமொபைல் காம்போனன்ட்ஸு பைப்லைன் ஆப்சோர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ஓகே ஆப்சோர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் தென் ரயில் கார் காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் ஓகே அது ரயில் கார் காம்போனன்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன்ஸ் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹச்எல்எஸ்எல் ஸோ ஹச்எஸ்எஸ்எல் அப்ளிகேஷன் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் அப்ளிகேஷன் பிரிட்ஜஸ் டவர்ஸ் லார்ஜ் எஸ் பில்டிங் காலம்ஸ் ப்ரெஷர் வெசல்ஸ் ட்ரெயின்ஸ் ஆட்டோமொபைல்ஸ் பைப்லைன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆப்சோர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ரயில் கார் காம்போனன்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹச்எஸ்எல்ஏ ஸ்டீல் 